Okay, I'm going to be changing out the uh, driver's side rear window on a 2008 Kia Sorento LX. So this is my daughter's car. So just for starters, uh, if you get in a pinch, saran wrap works really, really well. Wrapping it around the window all the way around. And she actually put some extra tape on there to keep it. But she's had it on there for like a week and driven back and forth, you know, three or four hours from here. She's home from college to get her by until we could uh, get the glass replaced. But that is what you could do to get you by. So I'm going to show you how to take this door panel off. Okay, so to remove the door panel, by right, taking the Phillips screw out of right here, some of the cars have a little rubber piece that you pull off. And Phillips screw right there. You've got two of these plastic screws that look like this right there. And then you've got the bigger ones on these outside door right here. Uh, these aren't turning real well, so if you get you a small screwdriver and you kind of work it up under here, because they were just spinning, you should be able to just kind of pop these out, like work them out like that, and then pull that out to get those out. Because once you have those out, I use, you can use screwdriver, I use these plastic tools you can get from like Harbor Freight. But you can have uh, plastic clips that are all around this door. You want to pop it out, move it out a little bit, then you want to try to, you got to make sure you unplug the plug to this light here. You have a speaker to unplug. Oh, uh, there's also one more screw here that I forgot to tell you about. You pop this door panel off, and that should be a Phillips head right behind this little panel right here. But then this thing all pops off, you'll lift it up a little bit and back it away, then unplug these few other things. This is what you should have removed off your door before you start to pull it. Uh, once you've got this sunscreen out here, this thing just kind of comes off. That comes off there. Now you're about ready to start popping these clips out and getting your door off and unplugging everything. So correction on the speaker, you don't have to mess with that. Uh, but those are the two wires unplugged. Now you're just going to start pushing up on the door. And kind of lift it up on it. Just kind of, it should just lift right up and off. And then your panel's off. So I got my replacement glass out of the junkyard, picked it out. Uh, the nice thing about junkyards, they don't really care how much you tear into them. So I just got a razor and I cut all this out. I'm not going to do that on my daughter's car here. I want to keep this intact. So I'm going to have to take a little more time to take these loose. Phillips heads right here. Take these Phillips off here. Just manage so I can get the plastic off intact, peel it down. It's a little colder here, so it's coming off. Midsummer, this stuff is a sticky mess, but this is going to come off pretty easy. But just peel this all the way down to expose the window regulator. So here's what this looks like with those rods unhooked. Now they're loose, and I can slide everything off around it. So plastic loose. I undid this side, and then I'm just slide it over these rods here, and just peel it on down. All right. So this is where you, where you want to be in order to uh, unscrew your screws and put your new glass in. You got your one hole right here, that's where that one lines up, and then the other one's right underneath the regulator motor right over here. So everything's lined up now where I can take my screws out and then slide my new glass in. So these are 10 millimeter bolts you're going to use. You slide into that window there, you'll undo this side over here, and you come in right underneath this part here and you'll get to the other one. Once you've got your door panel off, in order to get this smaller window out here, uh, you've got a support down here, eight millimeter bolt that's already taken out, and then to free it up, you've also got one right here, another eight millimeter bolt, and then that'll loosen this up, and then the, the last thing you gotta do is you gotta peel this back, and you see a little Phillips head screw. Once you do that, this whole thing should be, moved, be able to be removed, and you can slide your new one in. Also, it's easier to put in your replacement window here to have this out of the way. So I needed two hands. You just kind of work this away. Then you can see how your glass is. I'm not, I'm not replacing this. This one's fine, but I'm actually replacing this window. But at this point, once this is loose, then you can pull this glass. It's just wedged into your trim here. Just This thing just pulls straight out. And then uh, you just press the new one in, put your trim, reuse all your trim there, and just slide this thing, work this thing back into place. One other thing, you've got this little round tab. This thing just basically pops through this other piece of trim here that goes to this one and then it goes into the middle of the car. So just kind of get your get your uh, fill, uh, your flat head around, just kind of, this thing just pops out like a button. But that goes through this piece and the hole there. So that all just lets us freeze this up and gets it all out of the way for you. So what I end up doing is I end up uh, 
just taking the trim all the way off. It's all the way off the, the little guide track, so it's all the way off. And I just left the guide, the guide uh, down there in the door, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the glass mounted back on to the, uh, uh, you know, the regulator, and then I'll slide this uh, the guide back in on the other side of the glass. Okay, so you just line them up there. I'm gonna put a screw through this side and come around over to here. Put the screws through there, then the glass will be mounted to the regulator there. Uh, so now you've got your glass mounted on. I went ahead and ran the glass all the way down. And I took this, went ahead and took this uh, guide that goes over here that this trim is supposed to go to. And just now that with the window all the way down, you've got room to work here. You can just kind of fish this thing back in here. Just kind of line it up with your glass. See where the supports go. I'm kind of lining them up now. You can see. I bring this up here, line up with your holes in, and start getting it all tight in your window. Then just bring your trim and just slide it down in the track along, and it should slide right around the glass there too. And that's the easiest way I think to do it to get this glass out. You just take, so just take this piece and just kind of just get right up into the hole like that. Just follow it on down. Everything should line up. Everything's lining up there, and just put your eight millimeter screws back in. A little advice on this, uh, put these, when you put these eight millimeter screws in, leave them not all the way snug, because you got to kind of maneuver this around a little bit. And this is being like a, like a sheet metal screw. It doesn't just glide right back in real easy. So you're going to have to have some wiggle room. Get this tight first, and then go ahead and tighten these up down here. So now I'm taking my trim here, or my, uh, my window molding here. Just working it down in here. Just kind of just work it all the way down. And see that's just kind of going around the glass there. Just kind of just push it back in. I should just go slide all the way down and around the glass. And then, you know, of course, bring it back up to make it match up. Sorry about the camera angle there. You just bring it all the way up around, bring out the slack. And just kind of button it up. That gets you, that gets you, your molding back in and your glass back in. Um, and then of course you pop this little plastic thing, kind of gets this all back together here. But now your glass is back in, but that's the easiest way to do it. Really you need to get this out. So, and then just reverse order on your door panel. Another thing I would do here, make sure you really get, get your gasket out. Let me open it up, because I just, <laughs> just closed the window and I heard some crunching. So make sure you get that gasket really open up all the way down and really get all that glass out of there.